day, it's your girl Joy back with another banger. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well. It's if this thing, this keeps falling down. It's like a a little, a little, little. Don't don't worry about it. Y'all know, y'all know. So I hope you guys are enjoying this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Or you have enjoyed this day. And if you didn't, I hope you are planning on enjoying your day tomorrow. <laughs> because really, it's up to you. No matter what you go through, you have the power to control that. In most cases, sometimes you, some people need a little medicine. And that's okay too. <laughs> So many of you know that I'm out for the summer, but it seems like I've been working, but not working, resting, but not resting. My schedule is off. I have lost track of days and time, days of the week. I've lost track of all of that. And I find myself just searching the internet for teacher ideas and downloading a whole bunch of stuff. So I need to sit down and sort through all of that stuff. See what I'm going to use, not use. Miss um, Anderson, my sister teacher and I, we got together yesterday and we worked from 11 to 5.37 p.m. From 11 a.m. to 5.37 p.m. And we sat in Starbucks. We were banging it out, honey. Yes, we were. We did that, sis. We did that. And so I just got, like I said before, I just got back from lunch. I didn't want to look too bad. So I threw this hat on. Child, some of my hair is locking up under this hat, honey. But the braids look good when you slap a hat on it. Who gonna check me, boo? Who gonna check me, boo? Right. Anyway, let me put these down because they're getting on my nerves. So, here's the tea. I have my question for you, sis. Get myself together, okay? Get this up together. <laughs> and I'm right, good, good girlfriend. So, listen, 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 listen. Calm down, calm down. I'm going to get to the question of the day. Yeah, I like my noodle plan. I got her from Ikea. Oh, I want to show you my desk because I feel as though... I'm tired of working from my bed and I feel as though working at a desk in front of the window, I need to go get a chair. Dang it, I need a chair. That's what I need. Hmm. Yeah, it's really a tight spot. I'm gonna try to move my bed over a little. I'll show you. This. So I'm gonna try to move, shift my bed, but the bed is heavy. So I'm going to see if one of the girls, they never have time for me, child. They be up about their business. Anyway, here's our question. Um, I have two, but as you know, I start running my mouth. Who knows how many we're going to get to. What advice could you give about raising a teenager? What advice could you give about raising a teenager? <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> if you have a teenager on the rise I would say it's just like this is my opinion I want you to give your opinion in the comment section below because we're all different the things that I may or may not do will be different from you depends on the type of parents my parent was a different type of parent that me no not too much my mom was easy going so i guess i'm kind of easy going some of you may say that i'm a soft parent some of you may say i'm a laid back parent some of you may say that i'm not strict enough some of you may say that i need to do a better job some of you may say well i'm not doing it the way you do because that the way you do it is the only way to do it because as we know there's more than one way to skin a cat but in your mind, your perception is the way you do it is the only way to do it. But there are other ways to do it. And how I do it for one, I may not do it for another. That's in my household. So I'm going to do it the way that I know how to do it. The best way I can do it with what I know, what I have, and what I don't have. And I'm going to do to do some kind of way. I'm just going to do it. So, <laughs> with that said... You know, I think that being a single mom versus being in with the baby's daddy or stepdad or whatever and having a man present, I think is a little different. You get, you're going to be different. I feel as though you don't have the weight all on one shoulder. No, there's sometimes their relationships with a man or a woman. <laughs> anyway, from my experience, 
just calm down, calm down. Listen, from my experience, I just think being present is very, very important. And I think that we bring a lot of our baggage, our experience, our history from the way we were raised, from what we saw growing up as children. And we kind of have that on us and we kind of put that on our children. Not everything, but some things. Do I do everything like my mom did? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. But you know how she was easy going and you know, sweet, sweet lady. I'm kind of like the same way and I, I see some similarities there would be some similarities or you may have noticed or seen some things in your past that you don't want to bring to your children so we get that some things you're gonna have some things you're not some things you're gonna have that you don't realize you have but it's, it's spilling off on your children that's when you don't realize so there may be some things I don't realize as well so for me, I was like being present, being consistent, being involved, being engaged. It does not always come with money. Like I always take the time to talk to the kids and to do as much as I can with what I have and with what I know. Case in point, we didn't. I didn't go on vacations and stuff as a, as a kid. I've still never been to Disney World. My kids haven't been to Disney World. So I think that kind of tone has been brought to my house you know I it's always been a struggle for me so I'm like we lucky we got lights on the roof over our head so that's what happy vacation okay and you got some nice hot water and lights period and food in the fridge may not be what you want to eat but there's something to eat you know what that really burns my biscuits when the kids always <laughs> so Sydney had a moment she had a meltdown baby I had to come to my room and close the door I can't do attitudes at all I can't do the mood swings I, I ooh, they bother my spirit and my soul so I gotta leave. So I'm like, how are you gonna tell me there's no food? There's something to eat. It may not be what you want to eat, but there's something. That's when you get creative when the food gets low or you know you gotta go to the grocery store, but you don't feel like going to the grocery store. So you're not rushing to the grocery store because you know good and well there's some peanut butter and jelly up in there. There's some ramen up in there. I hope I'm not um blurry. There's some ramen up in there. There's some crackers up in there. There's some cheese up in there. Eat some cheese and crackers. Put a little dollop of mustard. Good. Bad, bad. And Connie Child made sure we stop with noodles, macaroni, cheese, and Sydney's on his special diet stuff. Special diet. Baby, there's some vegan mac and cheese up in there. I left the box out for you. You didn't want to find anything to eat, so you didn't eat. There's frozen foods up in there, too, boo-boo. You just chose not to eat. And sometimes you just got to get creative. No, you didn't, you, didn't, you wanted something easy. And sometimes life is not easy. You have to make do with what you have. Purr, purr. Snaps on that. And that's on Mr. Rogers in the whole damn neighborhood. Please, you better miss me with that. You better miss me with that, boo. Ain't nobody fooling with you. Shoot. <laughs> now she be like, oh, can, can you give me some money for such a... No, I cannot. <laughs> Cause you want to go out with your friends, you better get some water. <laughs> Knowing we got something up in this house to eat, okay? And you already had a little coin in your pocket. So anyway, oh my God, back to the regular question. Listen, 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 listen. So anyway, I say being present and being active. Doesn't mean you have to buy them everything. Nope, I didn't. I bought them what they needed. And once in a blue moon, I scraped up, my subscribers scraped up to get them some of their wants. And thank you, I could not have done it without you. Mm -hmm. Thank you all. I love you, love you, love you. And, you know, so some things is based on need and a few things were based on want. And so, but you, st I still tried to be present. And I think being present and sometimes understanding and being able to pick your battles. Being able to pick your battles. Like if there's a piece of paper on the floor. Okay, there's a piece of paper on the floor. What? Things like that don't bother me. Things like that may bother someone else. Like stuff like that will probably bother their biological donor. Okay, there's a piece of paper. And the world is still going to go on. Okay, what? And? Okay, they have a few dishes in the sink. What? And? You know, that does, let me take that back, that does irritate me. The sink is full right now, too, but, <laughs> but, you know, I try to pick my battles, but I do have my moments where I do go off, and, uh, you, you guys know, the dishes is my thing. 
shoes downstairs okay they downstairs it's easier for when you want to walk out the door not a big deal so it's about learning to pick your battles and sometimes the battle is not worth picking over case in point i had a huge huge thing about sitting on my bed with your school clothes <laughs> don't do it then i had to stop and reflect am i glad that the kids want to run to me and tell me about their day whether they sit on my bed so i had to swallow that i did it took me years to get there but i was like what's more important me fussing about my bed or just allowing them to tell me about their day and I stop what I'm doing to listen so I had to pick my battle and I do <laughs> I have to <laughs> bring it down bring it down bring it down so you know so that, that was that and then you of course you're gonna have some teens that are going through their teen thing but for me I was just present I was supportive even when <laughs> I didn't know how I was going to do it. I, I, I made a way. I made a way for the babies. And I will say I have been blessed. This was my conversation I had with my girlfriend today when we had lunch. Um, I didn't really have too many problems. You know, Clinton video games and stuff. Just little things. But that daily mood and uh, cursing and fighting. Fight, mm -mm. No. No, so I think I was I was really blessed. <laughs> God knows what you can handle. Clint gave me a run for my money, but it wasn't like his anger directed towards me or anything. You know, I don't, I don't play that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And don't think about raising a hand to me, baby. Ooh, baby. See, I have all the ancestors in my past and all that stuff that will come from yonder to the forefront so we want to leave them back there baby i don't care how old i get i will climb bobby like a tree and take her down but she's sweet <laughs> so anyway <laughs> so i don't think bobby ever got her spanking ever sydney maybe one no and i'm not big on spanking and people say spare the rise spoil the child Okay, I guess mine's spoiled then. Clint got a few pow pows when he was little, but mm -mm. after that, it made my nerves bad. It wasn't it wasn't worth me having a stroke. Mm -mm. So he would get time out. I became a time out mommy, <laughs> and Bobby and Sydney nothing. And look how they turned out. Wonderful, wonderful little girls. So I guess it depends on your perspective or whatever. And every child is different. Like Clint got in trouble all the time for whatever he did. Bobby. Never Sydney. I think on YouTube she probably got in trouble maybe twice. She got she got in trouble. She didn't get pow pow, but she just got punished. And then some people like, yeah, she wasn't on punishment long, okay, but she was on punishment. And I was okay. That that was me, okay. Sometimes I'm a little I'm a little weakling. Yes I am, yes I am. Even as a teacher. All right, fine. Just give me a sentence. Give me something. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> but I just love them. They're all sweet. All right, guys. So that was the question. Um, what advice could you give about raising a teenager? And if you happen to be a teenager, what are some things that your parents, your guardian, or whoever it is that have done with you that have been successful? And once again, for me, of course, I haven't done anything special. I was just present. I was just there. I was funny. I was fun. You know, I didn't feel as though I had to be all the time. No, I was just me. And my kids loved it. Yeah, so I was just me. <laughs> and we're all different. We're all different. So I don't know. I think I've rambled on too long today. <laughs> all right, guys. I love you. Give this video a thumbs up or don't whatever whatever you gonna do whatever <laughs> i love y'all bye y'all